Hello, Maris. Hello, hello. No, he's not there. Okay, good evening, Vladimir. Good evening, Marian. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How do you feel today? Uh, good evening, Tony. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very fine, thank you. All right. Is it raining where you live? No, no, not right now, but I will to look if the clothes are coming. Yes. Yeah, it was raining a while ago. So I think that it's going to rain right there, right? Yeah. Um I will uh, I wish that raining right now, but it's too hot. It is really hot. Yes. I think that those days have been really, really hot. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Very um internal. <laughs> and it's really worrying, right? Yeah, because of the Yes, of the climate. I mean, it's yeah. it's really, it's really worrying. Okay, so we have Maris. Okay, good evening, Maris. I hope you are okay. Yeah. Guys, today we're going to start our class. Okay. And in this case, we're going to start with the following. Um, we are going to have the warm-up. Then we are going to move to grammar, which is this uh, speaking session. Today, we are going to cover grammar, but it's not going to be like um, a lot. Okay, because we already finished with most of the tenses and, and grammar topics that we had. So we are going to have a listening quiz. We have a grammar quiz and we also have a reading quiz. Yeah, and we have the wrap at the end of this class. So we are going to start with the warm up. Okay, so say as many words as you can. I'm going to give you the letter and you are going to say as many words as you can with that letter that starts with that letter and you are going to have one minute yeah to say as many words with that letter yeah then um good evening carlos oman good evening how are you I i'm okay what about you how are you how are you I, it's raining here okay yes i know it was raining here but yeah it isn't right now okay perfect well okay so i'm going to give you the letter and you are going to give me as many words as you can in one minute, yeah? So, Carlos, I'm going to give you the letter. You are going to start, okay? Let's see. Carlos, um, you need to tell me as many words as you can say in one minute with the letter, okay, that start with the letter S, yes? S. Okay, go. <laughs> Sleep is so... Uh, sleeping, mm -hmm. snow, yes, snow, and a strawberry, yes, um, a stranger, a stranger, mm -hmm. yes, and <laughs> to remember, okay, seven, right now, seven, uh -huh. and sleep, okay, sleep, yes, and eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sly. Okay. Sly. Okay, sly. Yes. Um shoes. Shoes. Okay. Um no, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Oh my god. Okay, so Carlos, you said only 
10, okay? 10, uh, 10 in one minute, okay. All right, don't worry. Uh, Tony, okay, your turn, yes? Okay, Tony, yeah, all right. With the letter, <laughs> let me see, with the letter P, letter P. Ah, okay. Okay. Potato, potential, power, powerful, uh, possession, paradigm, yes. uh, perfect, professional, um, claiming, claim, um, people, poor, uh, picture, pain, plate, uh, Pikachu. <laughs> okay. 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 And palm. Pre, um, primrose. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Pluto. Pepper. Um. Uh, Pope. Pilot. Okay. Pilot. All right. Twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-two. Yes. Very good, Tony. Okay. Tony. Twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, let me see, Roberto. Are you available, or are you busy? Yes. No, you are ready. Okay. I'm here. Yes. All right. So, okay. Say as many words as you can with the letter that I'm going to give you. Okay. That start with that letter. Okay, so oh, okay. yes, with the letter M, M, M. in one okay. minute, okay, go. Okay, mom, uh, uh, mushrooms, uh, uh, May, March, uh, mouth, Mouse. Mm -hmm. mm, let's see. Uh, oh. Let me check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many. Yes. A me a difficulty. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Mario. Yes. Okay. A monkey. Yes. A monk. Yes. A... I. The last one. A Mario. No, no. Mario. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Eleven. Okay. Roberto. Eleven. Okay. All right. Let's see. So Tony is winning right now. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Um. Let me see one more. Okay. Um. Is Emerson here? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Okay, Emerson. Say as many words as you can with the letter I'm going to give you. Okay. Okay. All right. The letter is C. C. Yes, C. Go. Uh -huh. Right. Mm, okay, but it is yeah. C. Yeah, like this. Oh, so yeah. Letter... One children. Yes. Cup. Okay. Um, car. Yes. Capacity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, can. Okay. Yes. Blue. Okay. Coach. Yes. Cleaning. Okay. Uh, 
Careful? Yes. Crazy? Yes. Critical? Okay, 11. Mm -hmm. Cows? Okay. Corrosion? Okay. 13. 13. Good. Okay, ah, 14. Good. All right, 14. Okay. So Emerson, 14. Okay, very good. So in this case, the winner is going to be Tony. Okay. Excellent. Very good, Tony. Okay. Yes, you did it. Right. All right, guys. Uh, this is just uh, a game, right, for you to basically um, try to activate, right, all of the words that you know already. Try to do it. Yeah, once you are alone, okay, you can go ahead and study vocabulary like that. Okay, so we are going to start with the following, okay? Um, Carlos, can you please help us reading this? Okay. Um, Did you know? The word coffee comes from Italian, which comes from an Ottoman Turkish, Turkish word, yes. which comes from Arabic, which may come from an Ethiopian word. Coffee was first mentioned in the English language in one one. 1,500? 1,598. 1,598. Mm -hmm. Antioxidants in coffee may reduce the risk of several major health problems such as heart disease and Alzheimer's disease. Yes. Okay, guys. Let me ask you something, okay? Do you like to drink coffee? Yes, I yes, like coffee. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, I think that most of us. No, dislike. Okay, Tatiana, you dislike it, okay? So most of us like to drink coffee. In this case, um, we have like a short um, story, right? Like a history of coffee. Yes, yeah? so it says that the word coffee comes from Italian, imagine which comes from an Ottoman Turkish word, which comes from Arabic, which may come from Ethiopian word. Coffee was first mentioned in the English language in 1598. Remember that you can say the numbers, the long numbers are like two, right? So 1598 and it's okay. Yeah. Or you can say 1,598. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am okay. driving. My mom okay, I tell you. Don't worry. The life Thank cycle you. of a cup of coffee. Okay, we are going to start with some questions and we are going to watch some videos today. All right? So pay attention. Pay attention to every single thing that we are going to watch and practice today. So the life cycle of a cup of coffee. Let me share the sound, okay? Because you cannot hear. So here we go. Pay attention to this, it's very important. Many of us like to start the day with a cup of coffee and perhaps end the day with a glass of wine or some other kind of alcoholic drink. But it turns out that these two substances alcohol and caffeine can have surprising impacts on our sleep. Let's start with caffeine. Caffeine is in a class of drugs that we call the psychoactive stimulants. And everyone knows that caffeine can make them more alert, it can wake them up. But there are at least two additional hidden features of caffeine that some people may not be aware of. The first is the duration of action of caffeine. Caffeine for the average adult will have what we call a half-life of about five to six hours. 
What that means is that after about five to six hours, 50% of that caffeine that you had is still circulating in your system. What that also means is that caffeine has a quarter life of about 10 to 12 hours. In other words, let's say that you have a cup of coffee at 2 p.m. in the evening. It could be that almost a quarter of that caffeine is still swilling around in your brain at midnight. And as a result, it can make it harder for an individual to fall asleep or even stay asleep soundly throughout the night. So that's the first feature of caffeine. The second issue with caffeine is that it can change the quality of your sleep. Now, some people will tell me that I'm one of those individuals who can have an espresso with dinner and I fall asleep fine and I can stay asleep. But even if that's true, it turns out that caffeine can actually decrease the amount of deep non-rapid eye movement sleep that we have, stages three and four of non-REM sleep. That's that sort of restorative deep sleep. And as a consequence, you can wake up the next morning and you don't feel refreshed, you don't feel restored by your sleep. But you don't remember waking up, you don't remember struggling to fall asleep, so you don't make the connection. But nevertheless, you may then find yourself reaching for two cups of coffee in the morning to wake up rather than one. So that's caffeine, but now let's move on to alcohol because alcohol is perhaps one of the most misunderstood sleep aids out there. In fact, it's anything but a sleep aid, and it can be problematic for your sleep in at least three different ways. First, alcohol is in a class of drugs that we call the sedatives, but sedation is not sleep. And studies teach us that those two things are really quite different. Sedation is a case where we're simply switching off the firing of the brain cells, particularly in the cortex. And that's not natural sleep. In fact, during deep non-rapid eye movement sleep, for example, the brain has this remarkable coordination of hundreds of thousands of cells that all of a sudden fire together and then they all go silent. And then they all fire together and then they go silent producing these big, powerful brain waves of deep non-REM sleep. And so that's the first way in which alcohol can be problematic. We're mistaking sedation for deep sleep. The second problem with alcohol is that it can actually fragment your sleep. Alcohol can actually trigger and activate during sleep what we call the fight or flight branch of the nervous system, which will therefore wake you up more frequently throughout the night. And alcohol can even increase the amount of alerting chemicals that are released by the brain, once again fragmenting your sleep. The third and final issue with alcohol and sleep is that alcohol can actually block your rapid eye movement sleep or your dream sleep. And as we'll learn in subsequent episodes, REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep, dream sleep, provides a collection of benefits things such as your emotional and mental health, even creativity. Now, I'm not here to tell anyone how to live. I don't want to be puritanical, I'm just a scientist. What I want to try and do is provide you with the information about the relationship between caffeine and alcohol on your sleep. So then you can make an informed choice as to how best you want to live your life when you're trying to prioritize your sleep health. Okay, so let me ask you something. What do you think about this video? Were you able to get some kind of important parts of the video? Mm -hmm. Did you listen to his accent? It's different, right? Mm -hmm. He's so British. Yes, he is British. That is correct. But even though he is British, uh, the, the accent is very understandable, right? Yes, it's, it's very clear. It's more passive and understandable. Yes, that is correct. So um, in this case, he was talking about caffeine. Yes, and also alcohol. Yes, effects. Yeah. So what do you catch about caffeine? How does it affect us? 
what did he mention about coffee? He mentioned really important information about coffee, guys. Tony, yes. That the coffee is still in our blood system about 12 hours. And it's okay. important to not drink um, coffee in the afternoon because the, um, the caffeine persists in our system. And um, the second is that the influid or affect the quality of the of the rest of, of my of our sleep when yes. we have um our R E N rim uh, yes. is, is, is alterated because um still with a short breakups and it's not continuous. Correct. Continuous continuously yes and that is correct so guys uh well he mentioned that and he is actually you know he knows about the topic right so he said as tony mentioned before he said that if we drink coffee in the afternoon that i'm pretty sure that we all almost all all of us right do it says that the caffeine it stays in our body around 12 hours and that's why sometimes you can say, no, but, I, but I, I'm able to sleep, right? I'm, I can sleep, teacher, when I drink coffee, that doesn't affect me. It affects you. The thing is that you don't realize, right? So most of the time, uh, the next day we wake up and we say, mm, I don't feel, okay, like um, if I rested, right? So you feel, you do not feel refreshed, is because the caffeine is still in your body. So we need to maybe reduce, right? Uh, in this case, coffee or alcohol. In this case, coffee, it is considered part of which, um, in this case, they, they said, they, he mentioned some um, stimulates. Coffee is part of the psychoactive stimulants. Mm -hmm. along with tea if you say no teacher that's why i drink tea i like tea the same thing because tea has caffeine as well but in in less quantity a uh, quantity or or um potential with um versus the, co the coffee the coffee that is correct mm -hmm. so uh-huh no, teacher. No? No, I don't like this article. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I, I know. know it is true, but it's it difficult. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, also, um, scientific said, right, that we need to drink no more. Of course, I'm pretty sure that you don't drink this amount of, of cups, right? But if you drink more than 10 uh, cup of coffee, you can die. So a doctor said that we cannot drink more than 10 cup of coffee. In the day or in the week? <laughs> in, in the day, okay, during the day. So you need to be careful. Yes, you need to be careful because sometimes that alter your your system i mean your nervous system you probably don't realize but yes it affects and when you when you do not drink coffee you feel weird and you feel you know let's say that if you drink coffee um continuously right and then you one day do not drink coffee right because i, I don't know maybe you couldn't right you were late etc you will the feel headache, depressed. The mm -hmm. headache because you don't drink coffee, it exists. <laughs> okay. It's, it's like a drug. It is yes, like a drug. Real, yeah. Yes, yes. It's, it's like it is. It's like a drug. And um, the thing is that, uh huh? Go so try. many persons, uh, when don't drink coffee at the day, they, they have a headache um, and another type of anxiety symptoms. Me. <laughs> but those are the effects guys those are the effects mm -hmm. yes you get headaches you feel kind of 
uh, with uh, in a low mood, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the caffeine. So it's very important to, to reduce a little bit, okay? Uh, then it also, it also says, right, that um, he talked about alcohol. That one is even worse, right? Why? Because that one, yes, it uh, does affect your creativity, your emotions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let me ask you, do you enjoy drinking coffee? Yes. <clears throat> I you I do. enjoy. You do, yes, Carlos. I think that you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how much coffee do you drink per day, guys? In how much do you I I drink a, a four cup. Oh, four cups? it's the same for me. <laughs> four four cups, yes. Four oh cups. Oh my god! Okay, you drink a lot. Yes, uh, oh, uh, every day, four cups. Yes, uh, yeah, but no, guys, that is a lot. That is a <laughs> lot. I remember that once I, I, I drank, uh, I think that four as well or five, because we were with, with uh, one friend, right, in a, in a restaurant drinking coffee, right, like, like having breakfast. And we asked for more coffee and more coffee and more coffee. But in the afternoon, I felt really, like, anxious. And from that day, I stopped drinking coffee. No. <laughs> yes, because I, 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 yeah, I don't know why I, I actually drank a lot, right, of coffee. Yes, but yes. Uh -huh. So I think that, yes, coffee affects. It affects. Uh -huh. And when do you usually drink coffee? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, when you are having breakfast or probably as a snack or a dinner? I usually drink two cups during the morning. Mm -hmm. And then after the the after my lunch around 1 p.m. and the last one, um oh my God. I drink I drink, but it's not always. Sometimes I only have three cups or sometimes I have four, but the the, <laughs> the last one. The last one is around five o'clock, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my case, uh, two cuts in the morning. Uh, we delay there uh, for four p.m. Another or at three, three or <laughs> four p.m. And the in the evening, in the night. At night. At night. At night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, I drink coffee when I I drive long time. Ah, okay, Maris. I think that yes, most of people do that, right? Yeah. yeah. When you are driving, okay. And how do you take your coffee with milk, with sugar, or just black? In my case, sugar. just black, always black. Okay, I lay as well. Okay, black. black. Black, but with sweet bread. <laughs> okay, so, sometimes so. yes, but mm, not always. <laughs> okay, all right. And, and sometimes in my case, uh, in my house, uh, we have a, a cold. Uh, sometimes uh, with with milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. My okay. case is well. Most of the time, yeah, I, I usually I drink a, a cup of coffee with, with, with milk. With I milk. Don't like milk. Yes. I don't like milk either. <laughs> oh, really? I prefer water. After yes. my, but yeah, I, that is the, the point that I, I drink maybe three or four cups of coffee during the day, but I drink a lot of water. Okay, more than yeah. Two, two, two uh, liters. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That is very important that you drink water as well, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other ones? What about you, Emerson? Well, I, I am mainly used to drinking fives and five to seven cups. Emerson, oh my God, really? 
<laughs> I like coffee. Only three more I'm time. drinking black. Yeah. I prefer black coffee. That is I don't lot. like the sugar. Okay, Emerson. That is a lot. Okay. But okay. Mm, teacher, from here we are going to have a, a coffee club. I, I <laughs> yes. I am taking all who is uh, who who drink dark coffee. <laughs> yes, correct. Okay. I well, think but, uh, that uh, topic is very good. <laughs> yes, I mean it's really interesting, right? Because most of us like to drink coffee. Okay, and what food do you like to eat while drinking coffee? Well, sweet bread, said Tony. Breakfast, right? I mean, huh? maybe a snack, right? Mm -hmm. And what uh, is in, in my case, uh, alone, just just you coffee. Some, sometimes uh, a bread. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, ooh. teacher. Sometimes I drink my coffee with a banana. Mm -hmm. It is a good combination. What? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. With yes. canoa. Yes. Just read it. No, no, no. With a banana. A banana. A banana. Mm -hmm. a oh. un guineo. Yeah. No plátano. No. A un guineo. Because of the potassium, it would help you. And it will, Yeah. Yeah. It's better. Good. Coffee and banana. Yes. Okay, Adelia. All right. Hello. Hello, Carla. In my case, I drink coffee with cheese. Oh. <laughs> with cheese? Really? With cheese? Yeah. <laughs> I like the, the flavor sa so no. Salty? Uh -huh. Salty with uh uh with bl black coffee or do you add sugar? sugar. With sugar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is a really different combination for you. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So yes, Sonny, like that, right? But you know, the bananas are really good for... Um... <laughs> okay, Tony. <laughs> right. so Tony is... with, with the hard cheese. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Okay. All right, so... Bananas are really good to treat uh, depression. That's why probably when you eat bananas and coffee, you feel in a good mood sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. What is the most popular chain of coffee shop in our country? There are many. Teacher, uh, sometimes. Or beans. Sometimes. Ah, Sometimes yeah. in, in my house, uh, we would make a uh, corn or coffee. Cafe de maíz? Really? Ah. Yes. Okay. You have organic coffee. I mean, that is organic. It's okay. better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's better. With, with <laughs> uh, cinnamon. You, you can put cinnamon. It is better. Cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. That is but new. You refer to them. To the brand or yes, or to the to the, uh, mm -hmm. to the coffee shop that you go to, ah, okay. right? Uh -huh. Um, I like the Salvadorian coffee, and um, I probe about the hands that work to to mm -hmm. to make or to elaborate to the coffee, uh -huh. Uh -huh, to produce the coffee, and the, in this way is coffee cup, the coffee cup. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, they help uh, to the woman uh, to mm -hmm. give a. Uh, a job and promote the healthy and the help for women and, and girls. For women. Mm -hmm. Women, okay. Women. For women and mm -hmm. girls. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that, okay. All right. And the other ones? It's national. Mm -hmm. it's national. I, like, I like to buy a coffee when I go to, a, for example, a taco, a paneca, or places like that, because you can find the good coffee that the regional producers mm -hmm. export to another uh, countries and it's the, the best coffee that we have, but maybe it doesn't have a brand because when they sell yeah. that coffee here, 
they cannot um, expose, I think, the brand because it's a different brand. And these brands are for Germany, China, or countries like that. Mm -hmm. But I, I love to uh, buy that uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Okay, but okay. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So now let's move to vocabulary, okay? We have different uh, words right here. Maybe some of them you already know, okay? But some others are probably new, okay? Um, okay, who wants to read? Me, teacher. Me. Okay, Maris, read from filtered coffee till cafe, and Carlos Omar, rose and fair trade. Okay, okay. Filtered coffee. Now, coffee made made by placing hot water over freshly mm -hmm. ground coffee containing in the filter. Another. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is. It is coffee. Now, a uh, coffee drink with a dev with. Okay. Uh, Caffeine, none. And alkaloid substance, no, for this stimulant effect. Mm -hmm. Coffee, no. A small informal restaurant stealing like snacks and drink, including coffee. Thank you. Okay. Creo que voy a tener buena hacienda. Así que, eso es lo que he hecho. Ok. Rose. Thank you. Yeah. The extent to which coffee beans have been roasted. They produce different flavors from less in intense to most in intense. The roots are light, medium, and dark. Mm -hmm. Fair, fair trade, known adjective, trade between developed and developing country in which a fair price has been paid to produce producer. producers. Yeah, I think that this is the term um, that Tony mentioned, right? The fair trade. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, okay, so we have filtered coffee. We also have Irish coffee. I don't know if you have seen, but in some movies, yes, they add whiskey to the coffee. So that is Copiquete. the name. Yes. Uh, yes. So <laughs> the name of that type of coffee is Irish coffee. Oh. Irish coffee. But, but um, about Irish coffee, I have a variation for you no know, <laughs> alcohol drinkers, uh, like a, a Irish cream coffee. Mm -hmm. It's... um. Um, um, a combination of milk with has hazelnuts. Yes, hazelnuts. Okay, teacher, okay. and uh, I I love to buy when I have the opportunity, um, the coffee. Um, it is it's from Colombia. It's very famous. Famous this this coffee. I I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but but um uh it's from uh, Juan Valdez. But yes. I um a few me a few uh, weeks ago um I noticed that mm -hmm. they have they have a liquor with coffee and it's wrong. wrong. Really? Yeah. Yes, yes. And have you tried yeah. it? Yeah, yes, I have it. One, one, uh, um, uh, medida of run a, a, a shot, a shot, mm, maybe <laughs> a shot. Yeah, and it's very delicious. Yes, <laughs> okay, better to try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, all right, perfect. Okay, so now let's see vocabulary. Okay, so let's see how to use those type of words that we learned before. Okay, uh, volunteers to read um, from one to three. Alay. Me, 
Yes. Okay. Thank you. And from four to six, <laughs> eh, Carla. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ale. Vocabulary. If you want to cut down on your caffeine levels, you should buy decaf coffee. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any filtered coffee, I drink instant coffee. Even a not, even so, I don't really like it. Mm -hmm. You can use the Wi-Fi in the local coffee if you need to do some work. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Janet is very socially con conscious. Conscious? Conscious. <laughs> she always always buys fair trade coffee. Uh -huh. uh, my grand my granddad say drinking an Irish coffee before bed help pet uh, him to sleep mm -hmm. i love the taste of a uh, dark rots it reminds me of when i visited italy italy okay so this one irish irish coffee yes irish. and this one helped helped mm -hmm. very good okay irish coffee Yes, um, those are your sentences for you to see how to use them in a context, right? The ones that we studied here. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's move. Okay. All right, guys. Teacher, so, I have a question. Yes? What does it mean? Conscious and fair trade. Yes. Um, so conscious means like consciente. Janet is very socially conscious. Yes, es un bien consciente socialmente. Tiene conciencia de, de, de lo que está sucediendo en la sociedad. She always buys fair trade coffee. Siempre compra básicamente café eh, con un, puedo decir, un trato justo. Pero cuando decimos fair, fair trade, we mean eh, un trato justo al producto. Y yeah, en eso envuelve el cuánto usted paga, cómo se le paga a los empleados, lo que usted mencionó, Tony, right? Fair trade mm. coffee, I mean, coffee, the coffee shop is a fair trade uh, coffee shop, right? Yeah. Okay, and the, the other and question is um, the number three. Yes. Wi-Fi in the local cafe. Uh, you can say to, uh, you can use the Wi-Fi in the coffee store if you need to do some work. Oh, the coffee store, um, it's not like a general term for the coffee shop or the cafe. Uh, but you can say it, but it's not something um, that we would use because a store is used for some specific um, places. But for coffee, we can say cafe or we can say coffee shop, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it's part of collocations, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Any other doubt? No? Okay, so now what we are going to do, guys, is that we are going to move, right? And we are going to practice a little bit. And then we are going to come back because we still have one video, okay? For you to uh, listen to some information. So we're going to practice for 10 minutes, right? Those four questions, okay? And then we are going to come back. Okay, let me create the breakout rooms. If you cannot participate, please uh, stay here or you go to the breakout room, but let them know, okay? Let your classmate know that you won't be able to participate, okay? the the pdf uh -huh. 
Ouais. Ahí está. Ok. No. The next crowd. Another neck. Okay. This. Yes. Yes. Okay. This. Okay. Do you prefer filler coffee or instant coffee? And... Yeah, I prefer. Okay. The first one. Do you prefer filter coffee or instant coffee? What's the difference? In my case, I prefer the filter filter coffee because it's so strong. Mm -hmm. the, the the flavor the flavor is so is different. It's more strong. Okay. I, I, I have a problem with the coffee. Mm -hmm. I um. Not vicious of that, but I I prefer only coffee. It doesn't matter if it's instant or filter or dark coffee. If it's sweetie or bitter, if it's coffee, it's, it is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever coffee. Yes, but I prefer. The dark coffee and I am drinking it bitter. I am not adding sugar. Okay. In my case, I prefer filtered coffee because it's, mm, I think has different taste. But if I don't have um a filtered coffee. I can drink an instant and coffee, but um, not any coffee. <laughs> I cannot. I don't know why. I cannot enjoy it. Uh, if it's not a dark coffee, no, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Not really? Mm -mm. No, I don't like it. For example, Musum. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, the, the, the other brand. Um, I don't I don't remember, but there are some brands that I don't like. But uh, if if I can choose, I prefer filter, always. Ah, uh, me too, me too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever tried an Irish coffee? Where was this? Yes, I have yes. a try. With my cup of coffee, <laughs> with milk, <laughs> I like okay. it with milk. Um, before my, my my job, for example, uh, when I I don't have time to 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 have the the, the breakfast. breakfast? Uh -huh. okay. Yes, uh, only, only with the cup of tea. Cup, or, of yes. the, or the coffee, you you are ready. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sell yeah. the coffee. Irish coffee, Irish but coffee. I don't. I I didn't este I didn't feel the the whiskey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but have a had a good flavor. And you, Maud? Uh, for me, I. Have you ever tried a new coffee? And because uh, I don't like uh, uh, alcoholic drinks. Okay. Okay. Number three. Okay. Uh, apart from coffee, what else contains caffeine? Caffeine. Caffeine. I don't know, maybe a coke. Uh huh, coke. Uh, uh, energy drinks. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know what else. Mm. 
Ice cream. <laughs> ah, ice cream de coffee. Ah, no. <laughs> coffee ice cream. Coffee ice cream. Uh, eh, did, did you have something? Dice que además del café, ¿qué más tiene cofeína? The coffee Sorry. have the coffee have uh, caffeine and the green tea have a coffee. Oh, green tea too. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. So amazing. Stimulant. Stimulant. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you ever go to a cafe? to work or read a book? Why do people... Sorry? Many people say if they, they, they drink, drink a coffee, uh -huh. they lose a, a dream. In my case, no. Uh, if I, I, I drink coffee, uh -huh. I sleep I sleep in with, with a baby, <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> I am the same. I I think uh, the co the coffee doesn't affect me. Well, um, I prefer the filtered coffee, but uh, for the necessary and to, to drink coffee, I uh, I usually make uh instant. I oh, prefer okay. the brand called. Folger. This is a more. Uh, oh my gosh, it's a good yeah. brand of coffee. Okay. It's a standard, but the, the quality is good. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. this is a good option. But you prefer the filter coffee? Yeah. Because it's, it's better with the taste or the smell, or, or what, what do you prefer? Hmm. Or why do you prefer? the filtered coffee. I like for the, the flavor. For the flavor. It's different for when you you make a, a coffee instant. Instant coffee. Then sometimes uh -huh. that you can, how do you say, saborear? Um, taste it? Yes. Taste it, uh, taste it more, more, more acid, and sometimes it's acid, the, the flavor. Mm -hmm. And for me, something I think it's, cool. uh, it's, what is the brand? Uh, different. The brand that uh, I drink mm -hmm. is Fogger. Yes. Um, oh, okay. in, in the two cases, uh, in the instant coffee and the filtered coffee, and the, the oh, grounded no, the, coffee. The coffee, I prefer the gold gram. Yes, of course. Okay, okay. Just a brand, cold, cold brand. Cold brown. Is it national or is it international? This brand. It's national. It's national. Mm -hmm. I don't remember to see um, the. I've never heard about about this. Yes. Let me that's, search. That's nice. For uh, uh, in the Santana Bouquet. Repeat, uh, please, the name. Or, or can you chat? Can you write in the chat the name of the coffee? Yes, of course. Please. His name is Older Rap. Older. Golder. Ah, Golden Grand. Um, this is a, a, a brand cultivated here in Santa Ana. Uh, okay. You so are from uh, Santa Ana. Golder is, you call it a, El Mono. Here is in Santa Ana too. In El Mono. Let me see. I, I tried to, I tried to, to, 
to search in Google, but golden brand coffee, I can find gold or golden bean. Golden bean, coffee gold bread, or golden golden champion, golden bean, and I, I don't know. But okay, it's okay. It's, it's okay because it's from Santa Ana. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's move to the second question. Have you ever tried an Irish coffee? No, I, I never uh, tried an Irish coffee. Uh, because I think that, that is the, the coffee with, with alcohol, right? Uh huh. Exactly. Like, this combination. Oh, okay. No, no. I never, I never tried. I only tried the Irish cream coffee, but this is totally different. But with with alcohol, I'm, uh, I am abstemious. I, I don't know if the the correct word to describe, but I don't drink any type of 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 alcoholic drinks or beverage. And uh, I um, it doesn't uh, no me llama la atención. It it doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. uh, it does no. it doesn't call my attention. Ah, uh, it doesn't call. Thank you. It doesn't call my attention because I have alcohol, but. Yes. But I, I think in previous, the video that uh, the teacher um, showed us, if Miss um, Zizamar tell us that the, al the alcohol is bad for the for our brain or uh, sleep time and the coffee too, you only think about the combination of two types of bombs. It's so yes. dangerous, but... Uh, I, but some people like very much this type of combination, but if for they are is good uh, for me, no problem. But I think that it's not. Yeah, it's I not think that it's a very healthy. different combination. It doesn't for me. It doesn't match <laughs> alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coffee can be a little strange. And you, Emerson, you are drinking right now Irish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't prefer the, the Irish, but I, I uh, tested one. I tested one sometimes. Okay. Uh, I what have, about uh, the flavor I... or the smell? It is very good. Uh, uh, have a, a, a different reaction. The flavor is good. Reaction. The flavor is good. It's, it's a flavor is so strong. It's a flavor okay. strong. And the, the and you receive the the sensation, sensation in your mouth sensation. Uh -huh. when you in your, have a, I, I imagine it in your throat when yes. they uh, fall down uh -huh. in your throat it's so yes. strong it's, no, it's, it's strong but no it is um, how, como decir no embriagante Ah, it depends the the proportion of of, of the drink and and exactly. alcohol. It's a, a little portion that you can you can put in the coffee. No, it is not a lot. Uh, so. And what what kind of alcohol? Um, For yeah. general, you put brandy. Brandy. You put the brandy. And other place you can uh, add. Coffee liquor. Uh, Bailey's. Bailey's is an other other form to, to the brand uh, that uh, the uh, concentrate milk, leche concentrada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Brandy is leche concentrada con alcohol. El de hecho, el alcohol es brandy. Es una mezcla de esos dos. It's a mix of for two of these. Interesting, but it doesn't yeah. call me the attention. It doesn't okay. call my attention. It doesn't <laughs> call. It doesn't call my attention. Okay. Um. And you, teacher, do you like the Irish coffee? No. 
No, I don't like Irish coffee. I mean, I like to drink coffee just in the morning because I think that uh, at least uh, it affects me. Yeah. So I don't if like to drink, drink in the if I drink in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. My wife says that if she drink coffee, um, uh, before, uh, after the 5 p.m., mm -hmm. she, she done, she, 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 she done, goes to sleep, or she, she can sleep, mm -hmm. or, or, or she is, um, she, she is, um, she keeps alert. She keeps alert about 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 3 yes. 2 and 3 p.m., and she mm -hmm. can drink coffee uh, after 5 p.m. In my case, I can drink coffee at 10 o'clock p.m. or 11 p.m., and in the same uh, moment I wash my tooth I, I, I yeah I wash my my my, my teeth, tooth, my yeah, teeth. I brush and and I go to sleep a uh, few seconds for <laughs> me I don't have problem to drink coffee um uh, if I uh, make a reflection about the video um, uh -huh. maybe uh, I can monitorize my I can sleep. monitor monitor uh, my sleep with the event and I'm going to 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 study my uh, REM sleep if the video have sense okay tell about me. this about this uh, topic yeah I, I, I don't uh, I don't feel uh, tired in the morning I feel mm -hmm. very good I'm, I'm making all very very nice and I don't have um a different any situation problem. without any problem in, in my work or in my life, um, mm -hmm. normal life. But it's, it's too interesting, the, 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 the video. Yes. Okay. So let's uh, actually uh, do that experiment, right? Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm a rat of laboratory with this experiment. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, so you we can go ahead and, and uh watch the second video that we have. Okay. okay. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys. Let me share my screen. Okay, for this one, I need you to pay attention because we have some questions right here okay so for this one yes we need to pay attention let me see but we are waiting for the other ones and let me see yes we're we are waiting for Aleida, carlos jose carla maurice and nelly and george Okay. All right. So I was telling um, your partners, guys, that we need to pay attention to this video because we have those four questions. Okay. So, okay. Then here we go. Let me see if we have all of you. Um, yes. Now, yes. Okay, guys, let's pay attention to the video because we need to answer those questions. So please answer those questions along with the video, okay? Over 100,000 metric tons of caffeine are consumed around the world every year. That's equivalent to the weight of 14 Eiffel Towers. Most of this caffeine is consumed in coffee and tea but it's also ingested in some sodas, chocolate, caffeine pills, and even beverages labeled decaf. Caffeine helps us feel alert, focused, happy, and energetic, even if we haven't had enough sleep, but it can also raise our blood pressure and make us feel anxious. It's the world's most widely used drug, so how does it keep us awake? Caffeine evolved in plants, 
where it serves a few purposes. In high doses, as it's found in the leaves and seeds of certain species, it's toxic to insects. But when they consume it in lower doses, as it's found in nectar, it can actually help them remember and revisit flowers. In the human body, caffeine acts as a stimulant for the central nervous system. It keeps us awake by blocking one of the body's key sleep-inducing molecules, a substance called adenosine. Your body needs a constant supply of energy, which it gets by breaking down a high-energy molecule called ATP. In the process, it liberates adenosine, ATP's chemical backbone. Neurons in your brain have receptors perfectly tailored to this molecule. When adenosine docks to these receptors, it activates a cascade of biochemical reactions that cause neurons to fire more sluggishly and slow the release of important brain signaling molecules. In other words, you get sleepy. Caffeine is what's called an adenosine receptor antagonist. That means it derails this process of slowing your neurons down by blocking adenosine receptors. Caffeine and adenosine have a similar molecular structure, close enough that caffeine can wedge into the adenosine receptors, but not close enough to activate them. To summarize, adenosine inhibits your neurons. Caffeine inhibits the inhibitor, so it stimulates you. Caffeine can also boost positive feelings. In some neurons, the adenosine receptors are linked to receptors for another molecule called dopamine. One of dopamine's roles in the brain is to promote feelings of pleasure. When adenosine docks in one of these paired receptors, that can make it harder for dopamine to fit in its own spot, interrupting its mood-lifting work. But when caffeine takes adenosine's place, it doesn't have the same effect, and dopamine can slide in. There's evidence that caffeine's effects on adenosine and dopamine receptors can have long-term benefits too reducing the risk of diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and some types of cancer. Caffeine can also ramp up the body's ability to burn fat. In fact, some sports organizations think that caffeine gives athletes an unfair advantage and have placed limits on its consumption. From 1972 until 2004, Olympic athletes had to stay below a certain blood caffeine concentration to compete. Of course, not all of caffeine's effects are so helpful. It might make you feel better and more alert, but it can also raise your heart rate and blood pressure, cause increased urination or diarrhea, and contribute to insomnia and anxiety. Plus, the foods and beverages caffeine is found in have their own impacts on your body that have to be taken into account. Your brain can adapt to regular consumption of caffeine. If your adenosine receptors are perpetually clogged, your body will manufacture extra ones. That way, even with caffeine around, adenosine can still do its job of signaling the brain to power down. That's why you may find you need to consume more and more caffeine to feel as alert. There are more and more adenosine receptors to block. It's also why if you suddenly quit caffeine, you may experience an unpleasant withdrawal with plenty of receptors and no competition, adenosine can work overtime, causing symptoms like headaches, tiredness, and depressed moods. But in a few days, the extra adenosine receptors will disappear, your body will readjust, and you'll feel just as alert as ever, even without an infusion of the world's most popular stimulant. Let's see, guys. Let's answer the questions. How many, yes. Now I know why I drink the coffee and the banana when I went to the gym. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now you know. That is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is true. Okay. So how many Eiffel Towers worth of caffeine are consumed? every year 14 14 very 14. good mm. yes which of the following is not an effect of caffeine is not sleepiness 
sleepless. That is correct. Number three, what does caffeine in low doses do to insects? Mm -hmm. Let's see, energy system. Energizes them? Mm, not exactly. Who remembers? Help memory. Helps memory. Like the bees. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So caffeine is found in nectar. So it says that it helps. Uh, their memory and they go back to the same flower right uh -huh. because they, uh, it helps to increase uh, memory okay and what does adenosine do what is adenosine what does adenosine do help um, help help us, us sleep, sleep. Keep us aw awake okay help us sleep keep us awake which one Help us sleep because the adenosines uh -huh. wake up relax and the caffeines wake up awake. Mm -hmm. Keeps that up, uh, keep, keeps up awake. It keeps us awake. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Okay, guys, very good. So now we are going to take the first uh, quiz, which is reading. Okay, uh, let me. Let me send the, the link, okay? But well, I'm going to share my screen for you to take that quiz. It is very simple, okay? The reading quiz is not that difficult, but you need to read, carefully read, okay? But you know what? I'm going to take the attendance first, okay? So, yeah. Um, Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Aleida Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Jonathan. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Luis Miguel. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Mm, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. <coughs> Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Thank you, Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Um, Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Tatiana. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Wendy Marisela Ramírez. And Wilber Jonathan Bautista. Okay, let's see. Let's take the reading. Pues. Okay, there you go. Uh, okay, Pablo, thank you. And the passcode is reading. Reading. Let me see. Where is it? Okay. So 
I'm going to share my screen so you can see it. Okay, give me one second, guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the short paragraph. Teacher, I not agree with the with which one answer of the first one because I understand that it's beneficial when you drink tea, mm -hmm. but in the in the answer mm -hmm. the 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 option that is correct or that shows like correct uh, is uh, concluded about the, the health. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is beneficial. What is the correct interpretation? Because mm -hmm. the, um, the, um, 
the explanation is uh, a repetition of being both safe and almost always beneficial. Mm -hmm. Yes, the thing is this, um, that as you can see right here, we have something that we call the However. transition word, uh -huh, which is giving the contrast to this idea. So this this idea, uh, it doesn't matter because we have however. Because of that. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, by saying however, we forget about the, the first idea. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I, I get your point, Ryan. Okay. So let me see. Just let me check your scores. Uh, all right. We are going to take the listening exam. Okay. We are going to take the listening exam. So let me see. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm checking the scores. Was it difficult? Difficult. I think that is a, a little confused teacher. Is, for the words, or, I don't know. Mm, for the vocabulary, and, yes. Yeah, the vocabulary. Mm, yeah. And I have bad, the three. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I like that. Okay. All right. Let's move, okay? Let's move and let's um focus now, now on listening. Yeah. There you go. The link and the passcode is listening, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to operate. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to play it. Um, it's three times. Okay, no, like three times. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Let me see which is yes. It's very easy. This one is so easy. You will see. Okay. In this video, Aubrey, I want to explore the topic of gift suggestions. A lot of times people are thinking about what is the ideal gift for different situations. And again, we can't specifically say, well, in this culture, we do this and that because sometimes those are over generalizations. But let me give you a couple of situations and you let me know what you might personally give in these situations. So the first situation is a gift for a child. Let's just say a family member. Yeah, I don't know if I'm the best person to answer this question because my sister always gets upset with me when I give her child gifts because I buy him too much stuff. Okay. Like for his birthday, I bought him a video game console. Oh, and that, that could be somewhat problematic depending on how much she wants him to play it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's a particular situation. What would you get for a parent, let's just say for a birthday or for Christmas? See... I would be like, dad, what do you want for Christmas? And then you're going to say socks. And then I'm going to be like, okay, I guess I'll actually get him socks. And then you're going to be sad because I got you socks. <laughs> but when I've said I wanted socks, I really wanted socks. Oh, okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I, think I usually get you Snickers bars. Yeah, or something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, the next one is what would you get for a partner? That would and let's just on say someone that you've been with for a year. Yeah, I mean, it really is going to depend on the person because, like, if someone bought me jewelry, I would know they didn't know me very well. Okay. So you're saying like right there, you need mm -hmm. to know the person and make sure you buy not what you perceive as what they want, but what they really need, not necessarily need, but want. Yeah. Like, for me, I'd be like, oh, a new video game would be cool. Or maybe even, like, a household appliance. Like, I might be thrilled if you bought me a new vacuum. All right. Because those are expensive. Yeah. They can be. I mean, a really good one for sure. Yeah, I want a diaper. Uh, right. <laughs> what about would you ever give a gift for a boss or a coworker? 
Coworker, yes. Boss, no. Okay. And maybe for a coworker, what would be your, you know, guiding principle for that? I mean, I guess it depends. Like, how many coworkers do I have? How many people am I giving gifts to? Because, you know, I might just give them a $10 gift card to somewhere. Um, or, you know, maybe if I was giving the whole office something, maybe just some treats. Okay. For the entire office. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on gift giving. Okay. The second time. Okay. The last time, because it's easy. Okay. In this video, Aubrey, I want to explore the topic of gift suggestions. A lot of times people are thinking about what is the ideal gift for different situations. And again, we can't specifically say, well, in this culture, we do this and that, because sometimes those are over generalizations. But let me give you a couple of situations and you let me know what you might personally give in these situations. So the first situation is a gift for a child. Let's just say a family member. Yeah, I don't know if I'm the best person to answer this question because my sister always gets upset with me when I give her child gifts because I buy him too much stuff. Okay. Like for his birthday, I bought him a video game console. Oh, and that, that could be somewhat problematic depending on how much she wants him to play it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's a particular situation. What would you get for a parent, let's just say, for a birthday or for Christmas? See, I would be like, Dad, what do you want for Christmas? And then you're going to say socks. And then I'm going to be like, okay, I guess I'll actually get him socks. And then you're going to be sad because I got you socks. <laughs> but when I've said I wanted socks, I've really wanted socks. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think so I usually get you Snickers bars. Yeah, or something like that. Uh, okay, uh, the next one is, what would you get for a partner? That would and let's just say partner. someone that you've been with for a year. Yeah, I mean, it really is going to depend on the person. Because like, if someone bought me jewelry, I would know they didn't know me very well. Okay, so you're saying right them. there, you need mm -hmm. to know the person and make sure you buy not what you perceive as what they want, but what they really need, not necessarily need, but want. Yeah. Like for me, I'd be like, oh, a new video game would be cool. Or maybe even like a household appliance. Like I might be thrilled if you bought me a new vacuum. All right. Those are expensive. Yeah. They can be. I mean, a really good one for sure. Yeah, I want a diaper. Uh, <laughs> right. What about, would you ever give a gift for a boss or a coworker? Coworker, yes. Boss, no. Okay. And maybe for a coworker, what would be your, you know, guiding principle for that? I mean, I guess it depends. Like, how many coworkers do I have? How many people am I giving gifts to? Because, you know, I might just give them a $10 gift card to somewhere. Um, or, you know, maybe if I was giving the whole office something, maybe just some treats. Okay. For the entire office. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on gift giving. Okay. Teacher, uh, are we safe treats? Treats like amenazas? No, no. Um, she means treats like um, like snacks. Mm, how do you write this this word? Yes, T R E A T. Like um, I would say like. Yes, like snacks, like candies. It could be something as a surprise. Treat. Mm -hmm. Treat. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So let me see your scores. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, we are going to take the last one, which is grammar. Uh, this one has 20 questions, okay, 20. Once you are done, let me know. So I'm going to move you to a different breakout room and you can practice speaking, okay, with 
the speaking questions that we still have. And the passcode is grammar in capital letters. Pérez esta mañana, está bien, Pérez, Pérez. Ok, 20 questions, ok. Let me know once you're done, guys.
Which here I have a problem with the number 16. Let me see. 16. For me is, but I'm cheating my, 16. my balls. Uh, I think that is mm. get out mm. or get away. I don't know, but. In the three words have sense, but I don't know what is the best way to explain that he doesn't smoke right now. Mm -hmm. um, there is a famous phrase, Tony, whenever you are like learning something or you are doing something new people tend to say do not give the for you to common, mm -hmm. the most common the most common preposition that we use but in in the present is give give up mm -hmm. but in the past is the same Yes, gave up. Okay, okay, okay. But in the other two words, is uh, is correct too, or 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 is not is not correct? No, they are not correct because of the context. And um, I mean, in this case, if we well, um, let me see, let me let me yeah. If you say with with a way. Um, that means to to give a gift. Mm -hmm. That's why we. I don't know if you have heard the word "give away" on on mm -hmm. advertisement. The give away. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that one is not good because I mean that means to give something for free. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Um, and give out now when it comes to give out it's going to be the same as give away but those are kind of synonyms but the most common is give away not okay. give out okay okay thank you Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. I have a question with, with this expression as a child mm. you know you know the same like i say uh, like like a child it's different right yeah yes it's different as a child um yes it's different i mean when you say like you are just comparing and as is that you at some point, you you were a child. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the past, right? In the right. past. Okay. In the past. Okay. In the past. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I think that most of you must, but I'm still uh, missing some. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let's wait for two minutes. Okay. All right, guys, do you have any question related to this um, quiz? Mm -hmm. Or no? No questions? I must in my case, teacher, because in the two uh, questions that I felt, uh, I had my doubts about the few and a little. Um, <laughs> yes. I made the mistake. Yeah, I made the mistake. Even I know that the correct was a little, but I doubt that was my mistake there. Okay. In that case. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um. So I think that sometimes we know the answer, but that happens that we doubt. But if you know the answer, do not doubt. I mean, yes, do not doubt. Right. Just go what uh with what you know. And if not, in this case, I mean, you are going to learn at least in our classes, right? Because you will see the, the one that is correct. But if you get it correct, so you reinforce what you know already because you knew it. Um, Roberto. Uh, yes, sure. I, I have a question with the time of, 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 of the sentence in 19. The, the 19, for example, uh, say, is, is Kathy Lynch? Is Kathy enjoy her university course? Uh, and the, the, the right question is found. I think in, in, my, in my mind, right? I, I don't know. I think that is in present, right? I think that is in present and the, and the question is in, in present. Yes. And I I thought that it, it has to do, to, to, for example, finds, I don't know, but the correct question is found. Mm, I mean, you mean that the correct answer is found? Yes, it's found. Like saying... Uh -huh. Found is like a, a simple pass, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I think that the question is, is in simple present, right? I don't know. I am a little confused. 
Uh -huh. This one, okay. So in this case, uh, is Katie enjoying her university course? Yes, she finds the lectures very interesting. I mean, this one is um, present continuous. So now, since we are speaking in, in present, then this one should go in present. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, it's not past. In this case, um, it would be different if we had. Was Katie enjoying her university course? Yes, she found the lectures very interesting. Um, so whenever we have tenses like this, I mean, present continuous, we need to keep the idea in present because we cannot switch um, in past. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, tenses, like tenses agreement. Simple uh, present continuous, present, or present, present. Yeah, but no like present and then past. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's basically because of that, because of the tense that we are using this one on the okay. first. Uh -huh. It's because of that. Thank you. Uh, um... Mm -hmm. If I follow the question, my uh, my Paul, yes, then, uh, I remake the question. How even how can I identify the present because it's, it's confused? It, mm -hmm. Well, in this case, we are able to identify the present because we are using the verb to be in the present. verb to be in the uh -huh, okay. And, and, and ing yes that is present continuous mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. your answer should go in present because At the same time okay uh, okay okay yeah like I that the verb to be and ing okay yes mm -hmm. yes i have the same uh, mistake yes i i, I saw it all right, somebody else, any other doubt? No? Okay, let's move, guys, and let's finish. Well, we're almost done, so let's see. Well, let's start with this topic. Tomorrow we are going to cover this plus few and a few, okay? But we are going to start today. Uh, Roberto, can you please help us reading? Yes. Little and a little. Little and a little are also a used in front of nouns to talk about quantities. When they are used like this, uh, they don't uh, have the same meaning. They do not have the same meaning. Who knows? Okay, who knows or who has the idea when to use little and when to use a little? Little, um, for me, I think little is something um, short or tiny. Okay. And a little is um, it's not too much about something. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you, Nelly. I Somebody think it is for uncountable, and another is for countable. Okay, one is for countable and the other one for uncountable. Okay, very good. All right, uh, both of, of you are partially correct, okay, in some of your ideas. In this case, guys, uh, we use little and a little for uncountable nouns. Yeah, uncountable only, no countables. Countables are for few and a few. Yeah. So in this case, it says that whenever we use those two for quantities, they do not have the same meaning, of course, right? So as you can see right here, we have a little and we also have little. Tony help us reading a little and Emerson little. Okay, a little. You use a little to show that you are talking about a small quantity or amount of something. Mm. For an example, I had made a little progress. Mm -hmm. 
I had made a little progress. Okay. Yes. Emerson. Little. Yeah. Little. When you use a little without a, you are at emphasis that there is only a small quantity or amount of something. Mm -hmm. Okay, emphasizing. Yeah. Emphasizing. Yes. Okay, guys. So this one is related to quantities. When we use a little, we mean more than little. And we have those two images, right? I had made a little progress. That means around 73%. And then we have, it is clear that little progress was made, which was 41% without the letter A. So little is less in quantity comparing to a little. But in this case, a little is more than little. Teacher, can yes. you... Can you uh, make a relation about a specific amount or percentage in this case? And okay. with liter and a liter is on a specific or more than the previously liter? More than than little. Uh, for example, let's let's um give an example with money. Okay, because money, the word money is uncountable, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so let's say that you have um, $35. $35. So that for me, okay, that's for me is a little money. Now, let's say that I have $10. That for me is little money. So little money is $10 and a little is $35. Mm -hmm. Now, with the examples that we have right here, if you see a little progress, 73%. If I said to you right now, guys, you have made a little progress in your uh, speaking skill. So that means something positive because it's a little. But if I say, guys, you have made little progress in your speaking, you need to improve. That means something negative because it's a small quantity. The same happens with money, right? So it depends on how you judge something. If it is little, it's negative. And if it is a little, it is positive. And we use those with uncountable nouns only. Only with uncountable, no countables. Mm -hmm. And we have different examples, but um, I don't know if you have uh, like a little bit more clear the idea. Yes, miss. Yes? Okay. So in this case, uh, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. But tomorrow, we are going to cover this topic plus few and a few. Yes? Um, I'm really thankful that you actually connected today. Thank you very much for the ones that already finished the platform. Most of you already did. Okay? So thank you, guys. And if you don't have any questions, I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay? Oh, okay, yes, something before you go, something before you go. Remember that tomorrow we are going to take the survey. So please mm -hmm. try to be on time. Try to be on time. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Have a good Thank night, you. everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Miss. Bye-bye. Emerson, good night. Good night, Jose.